Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to send all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect individual. To all you brothers, Akim, and confusion of faces out there, and I'll show you few sisters who are sticking by your Hebrew Israelite man. To you, I say Shalom as well. Um, I want to come at you from the book of Exodus, I mean, from the book of Deuteronomy. Uh, this is the 28th chapter, starting at verse 65 all the way down through 68. In the title of this lesson, I want to tell you that you so-called Negroes, you so-called Blacks, you are the real Hebrew Israelites, okay? Um, was Blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, but I'm especially making this lesson for you so-called Negroes. <clears throat> Benjamin, Judah, uh, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you are the top three tribes, okay? Um, hey, man, you got to accept your heritage. You are not, you are not just African-American, okay? If you're a black person and you're living in America and you living in Jamaica, are you a black Jamaican? If you're living in Haiti, are you a black Haitian? You know? So the, the term African-American was put upon the black people in America because this government knows that we are the chosen people. We are the top tribe, you know? But, you know, uh, a lot of people like that um, African-American name, you know? I used to like it, but I don't now. You know, I'm not, I'm a Hebrew Israelite, Lord willing, tribe of Judah. All right. Okay, uh, this is the the book of Deuteronomy, 65th chapter, uh, Salah, 28th chapter, starting at the 65th verse. Among these nations, thou shalt find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy feet rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and falling of eyes. And sorrow of of mine. Okay, what other group of people on earth uh, went through a hard time with you know with slavery? This basically describes slavery. Okay, um, I should have read this verse before. Um, let me see. I should have read verse sixty-eight first. Let me, let me read verse sixty-eight, and then I'm gonna read sixty-five again. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, 20th chapter, and 65th, 68th verse. And the Lord shall bring thee in into Egypt again with ships. Okay, what other group of people went into slavery by transfer of ships? What group of people? Tell me, please, what major group of people? All right, were brought here by the thousands, millions. What group of people? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So what's that telling you? When you read the first uh, part of this scripture, it's telling you that um, the people who built Egypt were, were so-called black people. You know? All right. Um, By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, that shall see it no more again. And therefore you shall be sold unto your enemies for by men and by women, and no man shall buy you. So who who was bought and sold among other nations the most? What was the biggest thing in America? The biggest economic um thing in America? Slavery. Slavery was a multi, I, I don't know exactly the amount, but probably millions and millions of dollars. Uh, it was worth millions of dollars back then, you know? So who is this talking about? It's, it's certainly not talking about those group of people in Israel right now. Because where the fuck are they going to go? Were well, they brought over here? And the thing about it, all that land over there in the, in, in the west, I mean, in the, like in the east, why would you need a ship to transport to go west? If you're already out west, why would you need a ship to go west? And you don't tell me, you know, well, you have the Red Sea. Well, I mean, come on. Why? Really? So, the book of Deuteronomy pertains to us because all the curses were brought down upon us. All right? 
and also the so-called Puerto Ricans and Native Americans, you know. Okay, let's read, read verse uh, 65 again. And among these nations, nations shall thou find no ease, okay? Neither shall the sole of thy feet rest. How many uh, so-called African Americans, uh, so-called Black Americans, you know that have two jobs? I'm, I'm, I work like, well, I work like sixty-five hours a week almost. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's still not enough. So you really have to get in the spirit when you read this book, man, because you know it'll just fly over your head if you don't. You know, this book is this book pertains to us. Especially the book of Deuteronomy. Alright. But thy Lord shall give thee. There a trembling heart. See. We don't know. Like for me being a black male. I don't know if I'm going to get pulled over. From, from a police officer. Just because they want to pull me over. I don't know if. Um, somebody's going to accuse me of stealing. And. I don't know if somebody's going to accuse me for doing something I know I didn't do. Um, driving home at night. Uh, I don't know if my job is going to lay me off. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of things that, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. <clears throat> there are a whole bunch of things that I have a great fear in my heart, <clears throat> a great trembling in my heart, you know. You know this, and a lot, and I can say they are they are a, a whole bunch of black males who probably fear more than I fear. You know, I have a trembling heart, and just think, I don't have any kids, no girlfriend, no baby mama drama, no criminal record, but yet my heart still trembles. So you can imagine how some of the brothers who got locked up and you know they messed up in the past how. How trembling their heart is. You feel me? All right. Um, we're going to go to verse 66. Deuteronomy 28, 66. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Who does that refer to? Mainly us. And thou shalt fear day and night. And shall have none assurance of thy life look at the police shootings man i mean if you walk black male walking down the street you got your book bag on i mean some i'm not saying that it happens all the time but the majority of the time it does happen police pull you over suspect you are doing something that got that happened to me like i think two times in my life and you know the most high put that calm spirit on me because i know i didn't do anything you know i know one time i was walk, i was walking home from work um, and, and, uh, it was like, I was working night at the time and it was like 11 o'clock or something like that. Cause I had to catch like two buses to get to work and I got off at seven. So I was walking back to my aunt's house, um, because I saw that's where I was living at the time. And the city, uh, police pulled me over saying they had a suspected black male wearing a, Wearing a burgundy, I think a turquoise blue shirt or something like that. And my, at, at the time, my shirt was a turquoise color. He pulled me over. So I said, all right, here, here's my license and everything. I just stayed calm. And after that, he, everything was clear. He, he just gave me a ride home, you know. But you don't ever know, man. Like a few months ago, I was coming home from work. And um, I was tired. You know, I ran a stop sign. I didn't run it like fast, but I just pulled up, slowed down a little bit, looked both ways in, you know, made my turn. City cop pulled me over. Told he asked me, What the what are you doing here? I said, Sir, I live right here. And once I said that, he bucked up and just said, Okay, I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems. You know? So when it says, in thy life shall hang in oh, hold on. In thy life shall hang in doubt. Before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night, and shall have none assurance of thy life. You don't know what you don't know what's gonna happen. Just as a black male, I don't know what's gonna happen to me tomorrow. You know, 
some old lady could accuse me for robbing her and they'll believe her before before they believe me. Unfortunately, that's the type of world we live in. In the morning, thou shalt say, would Yahweh, it were even, and at even thou sh sh uh, shalt say, would Yahweh, it were morning, for the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, and for thy sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. Okay, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee in, into Egypt again with ships. Again. If we already out west, I mean out east, why would we why would the Egyptians bring us in with ships? The Egypt is talking about here in this in the word is talking about America. Okay. By the way, wherefore by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and that, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So we were sold amongst our enemies. Okay? You get it? So white, the so-called white people at that time sold us among, the, among each other. And we were the ones who uh, built this nation up on our backs, okay? You shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. You see, that's us. That's completely us right there, you know? Uh, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And uh, hey, ask the most high to, you know, guide you if you, do have the opportunity to read Deuteronomy 28, verse 65 through 68. All right? Till next time, Shalom, all praises to the Most High.